Hey guys, what is up today? I come to you yet with another weekly live reaction of Gintama 2017 and we are at episode 327 and remembering what happened in last week's episode with the fight between everyone versus Kamui and finally to conclude the long life struggle of Kagura's family has finally concluded and we're going to see hopefully in this episode um, if Kamui makes the decision to join Gintoki and the others in combat against Yutsuro or will he go off on his own? Um, that was a pretty emotional battle as well as an intense battle from last week and I'm glad the way it concluded um, the big brother couldn't hurt his little sister when she sheds a tear. Just That just goes to show you that Kamui loves his family still inside of him he still cares for them a lot so we're going to start with this week's episode so we're seeing like umi bozu in this valley of lilies white lilies and coca does anyone in flower definition, what does white lilies mean? Does it mean like the afterlife or peace or something like that? Because we've seen like, we've seen lilies in anime and they have a significant meaning to them. We've seen red ones, now we see white ones. And remember when we both lost both arms. And that he was on the verge of death. Umi Bosu. But he's very much still alive. And right now he's rehabilitating his injuries. I skipped the opening. Battle on Rakio Arc Part 11, first student. First student. Mm. <laughs> and just when things were over, now we have that motto coming after them. Oh, I see around me all the disgusting crotches of some dudes. <laughs> oh, Shokaku! And Bato. Oh, so they're not coming to, to fight them. So basically, they abandoned the Harusame. Yeah, remember, originally the, the three mad stars were prisoners and then are now used for the sake of Yutsuro, but they decided they're no longer going to be in the Harusame if Yutsuro's there. They're pirates.
However long I spent as a son and a big brother, I spent far longer living as a pirate. I never planned on turning back away anyway. So far ahead, my little sister will never be able to catch up. So high up, I could look down on my old man. And so far away, I'll be able to reach her. He's talking about his mother in that sentence. I know what I'm using as my thumbnail. Oh, I know what I'm using. Okay, it's one of the pictures. So calm we went back with the Harasame, but with everything that has transpired with him and the rest of his family, I do believe we'll see Kamui sooner or later. For now, he's just gonna go back, but he's going to come he's going to come back. He's not an antagonist anymore. At least that's what we thought for hundreds of episodes and chapters. He's no longer an antagonist. The true antagonist is Yutsuro. <laughs> Everyone's banged up. Why are you chewing on her head, Sararu? He hasn't done that in a long time. <laughs> that background theme. The place Kagura grew up is just like Kabukicho. Filthy. You're not resigning from the odd jobs, Cochran. Not yet. Not anytime soon. That wasn't her. Uh, it wasn't her trying to leave you, odd jobs. It was her paid leave. Oh my god. And here we thought she was actually gonna try to leave our job. No, she wants her pay leave. You oh my can you, we make this not an ordinary holiday but pay leave? In our jobs a request for pay leave is the same as a request for that I'm accepting yours. <laughs> What do you use all your money for? Staying at hotels, buying art, china dresses for calligraphy. They are all. <laughs> oh my god. Apply some olive oil and. I don't think it's. Cannons on, he has cannons on his arms. Oh my god. <laughs> Combat prosthetics will be best for him. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> they're already injured and they're getting worse. Oh dang, they put it on. Everybody's making odd jobs pay for everything. Oh, we never got to see when Takasugi and the others were left behind to fight. <laughs> so, they're showing us a flashback on when Takasugi was being chased by the, um, 
The Tendo shoe. And that's when they encountered Obro. Oh, So he told the rest of his crew to leave and he's staying behind. I got my wings from the same man so I know. Remember remember back in about probably four episodes ago where Obero told him Yutsuro was the reason why he's still alive. This episode is going to show about right now the reason why Obero is still alive even though he was supposed to die um, many times before. So we're going to see how these two came to interact the t and going back to the title of the episode, First Student. So this is going to tell the history of Obero and Yutsuro. I will use the last from framing remaining flames of my life. Oh, we're seeing Obero as a child. So where Oprah was living, everybody was slaughtered, and then he was killed. He was on the verge of that. And that's when he met Yutsuro. But dang is they graphic, they dragged his, his, his basically lifeless bl body blood just following his trail that is gruesome you still was giving him his blood ah oh, this kind of looks gruesome and that's a lot of blood. Oh my god. So I hope you at least live and continue to hate me forever. Okay, now I just see another thumbnail. So it's Takasugi versus Obero. Alright. Back then I died. I decided to dedicate everything to him. So he was, yeah, Yusuro's first student. Is that Killua? I'm sorry, his voice sounds like the same as Killua. So, okay. This Yutsuro that we see and it, it, it kind of shows that possibly, you know, Obodo is just around the same age as Gintoki, Takasugi, and Katsura. This Yutsuro that we're seeing here in this episode, he says he wants to know how to clean my bloodstained hands. So, was he 
at that time the I mean he he that means he went underneath the false name of, of Shoyo Sensei and this personality that he had was you know the Shoyo Sensei but he just went underneath that name for the time being but he was still Yutsuro. So the oh so the Yutsuro that Obero knew was the same one that Gintoki and the others knew. The same one. Even though he was a killer, he at the one at the same time he was more forgiving and kind, even though he was practically teaching children to ultimately kill him. Mm. And he, it was Obero that told him the idea of running a school. So he has a robotic, robotic arm. So Yusuro ran away from Naruko, uh, the Naruku. Now this is the Shoyo Sensei. That we all know. So, okay. The way I'm seeing it right now is that Yutsuro, he was willing... Even though it meant that, you know, the Naruku would end, eventually find him and then want him to die. You know, the events that happened where Gintoki then found him during the Joy War. He was willing to battle his own demons within him. That means, the you know, the deep Yutsuro that wanted to kill and destroy. So this new personality that he took on, Shoyo, wanted to live. He wanted to live in order to fight his own inner demons. So... Mm. He wanted to live. Not what we see now where he wanted to he wants to die and is involving everyone in his in his um troubles. school born underneath a pine tree will join on out the way it did Obero would have been able to become friends with Gintoki and the others when you really look at it like this he probably if if you know with Yutsuro and everything he could have you know been friends they could have been teammates
try to fake his way that to make the rest of the Naruku not search for Yutsuro. To make it look like he's going to die. Remember, remember he received blood from Yusuru that will keep him living for so as long as the blood is inside of him. And they were not falling for the bait. So they all came and stabbed the poor child. And Yutsuro witnessed that. Oh. And this is a change, Yutsuru, man. Oh my god. Show your sensei. Oh. And I'll make sure he never has to. And he triggered off the trap. And Yusuro sort of thought he was dead because he was crushed by rocks. But he survived due to the blood. So he stayed in the Naraku to protect Yusuro. And went against his teachings. And decided to kill. And that's when he envisioned himself as Yutsuro's student. Oh man. And he came back as that malicious. Yo, open all slice Takasuki right through the jaw from the blade went through his jaw and came out the other. Oh, God. Oh, he can't talk. Oh, he can't talk properly, unless he, sh unless he gets stitched up. Oh, Jesus. Oh. Pass all my last words to my students. Without you, I would have never gotten to meet them. He knew it was over all along. Without you, I would have never become Yoshida Shoyo. Thank you. And I'm sorry. In my pride and my joy, my first student. My junior students I'm so proud of.
I feel bad for old girl. Even though all this shit he's pulled off. There's something I must tell you as Yoshida's, Yoshida Shoyo's first student. Just what Yoshida Shoyo, what Yutaro is. So, this is the end of the line for Obro. He's finally going to die. The first sort student of Yoshida Yutaro, Yoshida Shoyo Yutaro. The one who wanted to uphold his ideals and wanted to protect him. And, you know, his first student. And, you know, if things didn't play out the way they did, like I said, he would have been the first. He would have been able to meet Gintoki and the others and they would have been his younger classmates. But he would have gladly loved to um, support them and teach them and be an older brother figure towards them. The battle on Rakuyo arc that took us into a late night slot and even into outer space is nearing its end. Also, there will be a major announcement next week. Be sure to stay tuned to Gintama until the end. So next week is the last episode of the Rakuyo arc. But we all can kind of guess what we're going to see. Um, because in April, a new arc is going to start and a new season of Gintama. So it's not really any big surprise because we heard of what happened and the news that we got like at least two weeks ago, I believe. But I did not think I was going to tear up because of Obro and his story. And it's just, it's just sad to see how much he has gone through being killed the first time, saved by Yutsuro, who wanted to change, who wanted to live and become a better person. And he betrayed the Naruku at one point. He did. Um, and he wanted to live a life, a normal life at least, where he can atone for all the sins that he has done over the many years he has been alive. And if it meant teaching children and having a normal life, then so be it. And in order for that ideal to come true, Yutsuro killed himself off in hopes that he can erase himself from Yutsuro's memories and he was watching from the background as Yutsuro was teaching all his new students and the day that Yutsuro got caught you know and the same person that uh you know he was trying to protect from the sidelines from the background he tells him thank you you don't you know how that must feel to see someone that you've looked up to for so long and then in return you have to end up killing them and you were trying to protect them at the same time too so you you feel the pain for Obero and they really brought his character in a complete circle in this entire episode and it took like half of, a, of an episode to tell us of Obero's background and how he why he's connected to Yutsuro and how he is connected to Gintoki and and the others ever since he was first introduced during the courtesan arc now we see why he was such a pivotal role with these characters and they concluded his character in this week's episode and he's going to tell us by next week how they can how they're able to defeat Yutsuro if there's a way they can defeat him we already saw from the fight with Umibozu with that Altana crystal so possibly we'll get a little bit more information on how they can defeat Yutsuro is there any other way to defeat him and you know bring him down for good the ultimate villain the antagonist of this series so this was a pretty good episode, the concluding of uh, Kagura's family arc and now the conclusion of Obero's character. And next week will be the conclusion of the Rakuyo arc, the Rakuyo arc, and I cannot wait for that. And then season 5 most likely is going to start sometime in April, I don't know exactly when, but next week should be able to tell us one that is going to happen. So if you guys saw this week's episode of Gintama 2017, episode 327, do drop a comment down below on what your thoughts were for this week's episode and what are you hoping for next week's final episode and what are you hope what are your hopes for 
the next arc, the next season of Gintama to entail. If you're a manga reader, then you already know what's going on. I believe by next week, I'm going to start back up with the manga. It's going to be starting with the double chapters until I catch up to the latest chapter, seeing as the anime is catching up very closely, I might as well just start back up on the manga, even though I wanted to go on for a little longer holding it off. But nonetheless, like I said, um, the links are in the description box. As always, you guys, go check that out. And I'm Kimmy Chan of Anime Legends Podcast, and I will see you guys later. Bye!